Hello, I'm Devendra. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the navigator inside your Android TV application. Let us suppose this is the movie 1 and this is the movie 2. And if we navigate from the movie 1 to the movie 2, then movie 1 is losting the focus and movie 2 is getting into the focus. So what we will need here, we will need two blocks, God focused and lost focus. But mainly we will work on the God focus block. We get the God focus block only inside the button components. So that's why we will create a dynamic list view for the buttons. Be happy. Keep coding. Wait, wait, wait. This is not the end of the video. As you know, be happy. Keep coding is our slogan and we launch our merchandise on our official merchandise store. The link of the merchandise store is given in the description box. If you want it, then go and check them out. To create a dynamic list view for the buttons, you will need the dynamic component extension. The link of the dynamic component extension is given inside the description box. As I open the pixel editor TV AI, you will get this AI into the AI store application. The link of the AI store application is given in description box. There you will get a variety of AIs like the job application, music application, news application and etc. Go and check this out. So now what I will do uh, here, uh, there was a recycler list view extension. So if you are using my AI, then please delete the recycler list view extension and typhoon tool extension. If you already on your project, then you don't need to delete anything. So you just import a dynamic component extension and follow me. So now what we will do, we will click on this block button. So now we will create the procedure here. Okay. So we will call this procedure as dynamic buttons and then we will run the loop. So here this loop will start from the one and this loop will end till the length of movie poster so here what we will do we will click on this dynamic component button and we will drag this create block so what we have to do we have to create the dynamic list view for the buttons okay so where we have to create this dynamic list view let's do it so i made the dynamic list view inside my home screen so that's why i'm keeping the visibility on and making it scrollable and here Inside the layout, I will drag the horizontal scroll arrangement. So I will keep the width fill parent and vertically center. I drag this horizontal scroll arrangement because I want my movie should display inside this scroll arrangement. So that's why I'm renaming it. Now I will again click on this block section. So I want to create a dynamic list view inside that drag horizontal scroll arrangement. So here I will select it and will place it here. As I told you before, we want the dynamic list view for the button. So that's why I will use a button property here. As if we see, we will get the unique ID each time means BTN1, BTN2, BTN3, BTN4. So now what I will do, I will go inside the any component block and inside the any button, I will search for the width block and here I will use the width percentage. And in dynamic components, I will drag this get component block and in the place of ID, I will keep this ID. I'm keeping it 40%. I'm keeping the height of 35%. Okay. So now I will place the image inside that button. So that's why I will copy it and paste it. And then I will drag it here. And then here I will use this image block and then here i will delete this so we done with the dynamic list view for the buttons so i create a the dynamic list view for the button so let's call this procedure when screen one initialize or when you get your data so as you can see here i use the variable and i store the data inside the variable if we are calling the data from the database if you are using the database like the air table or mysql anything then in this case, you need to call this procedure after you get your data. So in my case, I stored my data inside the variables. So that's why I'm calling this procedure on screen one. So I will drag it here. So as you can see here, dynamic list view for the buttons is created and my movies are displaying inside that button. So now what I will do, I will resize the height and width. So now 
I resize it and I am satisfied with it. So now what we will do, how we can implement the navigation feature inside our Android TV application. So before that, just understand the simple concept. So now let's understand this concept, how we can add the navigator. So let's suppose this is the list of buttons that you already created. So now what we will do, we will create a dynamic list view for the vertical arrangement and we will drag this button into that vertical arrangement. And then we will add the margin to that button about 2 to 5 pixel. Then we will change the background color of the vertical arrangement. So now what we will do when button 1 got focus then we will keep the vertical arrangement color and if the button is not in focus then we will keep the background color of the vertical arrangement transparent. Now I will create a dynamic list view for the arrangement. So here I will make the little bit changes. So I will just copy and paste it by command C and command V. If you are using window then you can use the control C and control V to copy paste. Okay. So now what I will do here I will just delete this button from here and will use the vertical arrangement. We will allot the ID like VA. I will ship this block from here to here and I will delete this and then will copy it and paste it and will use VA ID here. So let's understand what I'm doing here. So I created a dynamic list to follow the vertical arrangement category one movies arrangement and I call that vertical arrangement as VA. So as I told you before, we want to drag that button into the vertical arrangement. So that's why I will create the dynamic button inside the dynamic vertical arrangement. So that's why I use the VA here. Instead of adding width and height to the button, I will add this height and width to the vertical arrangement. So that's why I will go inside the any vertical arrangement and here will drag the width percentage block and will keep it above this block. So now I will copy it and paste it and will keep it here and then will control C control V or command C command V and then something like 40. I will make the button one height and width to the minus two means the fill parent and minus one means automatic. So after drag the button inside the vertical arrangement, we will add the margin to the bottom of the button. So that's why I drag the decoration component. If you on, then you, you can search here decoration and can drag this like this. So now I will click here and use a set margin. And now here I on the margin for the button. So that's why I copy it and I paste it here. And in the place of values, what you need to do? So you need to add the margin. So let's understand this concept. So in Codular, if you want to add margin, then you need to separate it by comma. So first place is for top. First place is for top, then top, then left, then bottom, then right. So this is the format to keep the margin. Okay. So I on zero margin in top and on zero margin in left and on two margin bottom as I told you before and on zero in right. Now I done with it. So now I added the margin. Now let's add the background color to the vertical arrangement. So that's why I copied and pasted it and we'll use the background color here and we'll make it yellow. Let's understand this concept. When user open the TV application, then they will first see the first movie. So that's why what we will do. We will add this condition. If in logic number equals to one then we will make it yellow else we will make it transparent this index represent the opacity of the color so if you make it 100 then this will be this opacity will be 100 percent if you make it zero then it will be transparent now let's work on the god focus block so what i will do i will go here and inside the any button component I will drag this when any button got focus. So now what I need to do, I need to check is selected component is a dynamic component. So that's why I will go here and will drag this block and will join this component. So means the selected component is the part of the dynamic component if it's true. So I will call it like selected and here I'll drag it. So how we could get the index. So if we want to get the third index, then what we will do? We will just replace the VA from all the part and then we will get the index. So that's why we will use the replace block from here. 
and what we will replace we will replace the va from the when anyone got when any component got the focus then we will replace the va from there and not va we are using the button so that's why we will use the btn here by empty space means that will give us the index now we will run the loop till the length of the movie thumbnail and then here we will copy it and paste it okay and then here i will make it transparent to all the components and now i will again copy it and paste it and then here i will add the condition so condition will be if in logic the which movie thumbnail link is equal to the selected movie now what we will do we will just here use the yellow color and then make it here transparent now we done with it and now what we will do we will also add the margin to the vertical arrangement we want zero in top we want zero in left zero in bottom and 10 in right so now as you can see we get the border below the button then we will use like this two comma two comma two so as you can see i installed the application on my tv so now if i use the remote then you can see the navigator is working properly okay so if you have any query then please comment me down below as you can see here my application logo is displaying inside the tv launcher if you wanted to know how i do it then you can watch this video till then be happy keep coding